Hi, I'm Gabriela Mundarain. I'm from Venezuela, and this is my story. Well, I have living here for two and a half years. I decided to move to the United States because of the political crisis that has been happening in my country for the last 20 years, and also because of my husband's work. At the first, I was so scared because English was an, I don't know, an unexpected language for me. I just studied English in high school in my country just for pass the test, <laughs> you know? And after that, my husband said, if you want to grow up in this country, you need to do it. And I say, okay, let me try. <laughs> let me try. I went after three months that I arrived, I, I came to take my test and I can't believe how fast I improved my English. But I think it was one thing that helped me and was take the bus every day to came class. So one of the purposes of the English language acquisition program is to transition students to employment, to success in everyday life. So we help them skill up their English for um, employment situations, but also for life skills, helping their children in school, interacting with the teachers, also basic life skills like going to the grocery store or um, using the transportation system. My husband, my nieces, my sister, they push me. You can do it. You need to trust in yourself. And I think, I think so. I learn every day new things. But when I look at the past, I feel so proud. In Venezuela, I was librarian. I have a bachelor degree in library, and I work in the university for 12 and a half years. I quit my job before I came to this country, and was <laughs> the hardest decision I took in that moment, because I have a life over there, but the situation pushed me out. I miss do it. Before this pandemic started, I was working as a volunteer in the PCC library here because I want to come back. I want to feel, I don't know, helpful or I want just to come back to what I, I was and do it better because I want to be helpful for people like me, like the, they don't speak English as well. And I like to help. It's my nature. It's something family, I think. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I think it's for my maternal and paternal size. Both are were professors. I finished ELA class on December 2019 and I moved to transitional classes in January. ELA program decided to select just a few students uh, that they are encouraged and grow and improve their skills and that you can take this class if you want to continue to study, uh, study in P Community College. And uh, well, this class has 10 subjects. You learn how to write, how to use curly commas, semicolons, um, how to make essays, critical, comparing, and everything. I, I think is 
Well, I could understand English better. Uh, I write properly and better now. <laughs> Three months ago, I have my interview for immigration for just my status and I didn't use interpreter. I speak in English with a officer for immigration and <laughs> I think that was my goal and I did it. One and a half hour for me speaking and answer questions in English was woohoo! <laughs> I feel grateful, I, I feel blessed for this experience. I never imagined that this experience changed my life forever, <laughs> forever. The, the, the view I have of the world was totally different, I went nine years ago to Italy and I think that was the first window I have to know other cultures and after ELA oh it's awesome <laughs> it's awesome it's awesome and each is, is a story for people for their countries you feel empathy with people and Americans made me feel comfortable and confident. Miss Mallet and Miss Fisher, they both encouraged me, do it, do it, you can do it. And three months later, I was surprised because all of them decided uh, nominate me for the adult society for my time in class, my courage. I think uh, Gabby really represents uh, the path of many of our students where they come here and they're stressed and they're uh, afraid because um, it's just it's kind of traumatic and our classes become a bit of a support group to students and the, their, the teacher and their classmates encourage them to um, step out and so she was able to do that and she you know started taking the bus by herself and she started volunteering at the library at Pitt so she was um, even though she admitted that she was nervous and afraid her teachers and her classmates encouraged her and um, gave her the confidence, help her have confidence in herself to um, make a new life for herself in the United States. I think that when you go to another country with a different culture, different language, it's important that you go through the community, go through the universities, the college, it's important for you as a person grow in this community. Never is late to start. And you can start from the beginning. Doesn't matter how old are you. If you want to do it, do it. Never give up, never. Never. Doesn't matter if the world behind you is falling apart. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Enjoy it. Enjoy. Enjoy the time you learn. It's hard? Yes. But it's nice learning. It's nice. And this program was the best thing I... Oh my God was the best thing I, I have in my life during the worst time I have been living in my personal life. 
this emotion is not for sadness. <laughs> it's because I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I do it. I did it. I'm still doing. And that's it. Never, never, never stop. Learn. Never.